Hey, what's up, everyone? So this is gonna be um, Yuri's A versus Yuri. I'm Yuri. And Dune Patrol. This is one of the classic Yuri's Revenge maps. <laughs> we always say that. It's kind of funny. No, but this is like a map that's like really good for um, if small map wars. Like if you um, like small maps and stuff, or if you just want a short game. Like I just want to have a few a game that I don't have a lot of time. I just want one game. And that's a shorter game. This is a map that's a lot of fun, and it's usually shorter just because it's smaller. Construction complete. Building. New so I'm just scouting the map. Um, and I think he anti scouted me with his two GIs. So I'm just gonna go one miner for more anyway. And by the way, my voice is being recorded in mono. With the same microphone, I don't know if, like, the last video before this was recorded in stereo. I don't know if it makes a difference, but, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm going one minute from war, get, get a Lasher first, because he gets a Grizz. Because, um, because Gatlin's are weak against Grizzly tanks. And eventually the Gatlin's are going to be helped out by the Magnetrons, so they're going to be worth getting. So then Scout. I was born for this job. Training. Yeah, Scott was the last which takes better because then it um the GIs c actually killed the um actually I lost that lasher accidentally just because I didn't have I was scouting and then as I was scouting I got killed and I was actually really bad. I was like, oh crap, I'm gonna lose this game. I just screwed up big time right there. Lost a get and a lasher. I'm gonna like not give up. I mean that's really stupid if I would give up because of that. But that looks really bad. That's what happens when you don't scout. Crap like that happens. And um, th and that's another thing, the, um, that dog ran through the Gatlin tank and killed my Yuri clone. I never seen that happen. I that I can remember. That is one in a hundred chance that for, like a dog to run past the Gatlin tank. Like oh my god, but at least I got one good beam onto a tree, palm tree. So that was not bad. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna put the um the most weak um tank in a bunker. I know planes could still kill it, but he might not make planes, so that's in the, the best thing to do with that tank. Or you could grind it and just get the money back and make another one, but I'm just gonna do this. Because you had to pay 600 for a grinder, so not really worth it. So I'm just gonna try, this is a technique, um, this guy actually, the same person that I'm playing right now did this to me and he beat me, um, he just, just go one minus more and just auto mag with Yuri clones and, and then if they make GIs get viruses. It's just basically a basic tech, but this doesn't work on bigger maps because it takes longer for you to get to the base, and you're gonna have a swarm of mirage and prisons before you get there. But so, but in a small map like this, you could use a strategy. See, I'm gonna um auto mag and then a control ship even with a Yurikon, and that, look at how many um things he lost. Now notice that he's putting the seal in the battle fortress, which is a big deal. It's gonna it could kill the Yurikons, but I'm trying to trying to get um just in range for the Yurikons to get the battle fortress. <laughs> and the battle fortress took up my whole freaking group of army. After I was beating him, I was like, I'm just gonna get this this battle fortress. If I would have got that battle fortress right there, I probably would have won the game right there. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go for it. And then, oh, the CEO killed all of my infantry, it's m mainly my Yuri clones. So I'm like, oh my god, I need to get a um psychic tower. Or he's gonna kill me, and he's coming at me with GIs. So I might need a virus, but I'm running a little low on money, so I gotta budget very carefully right now. And by the way, I'm gonna try to get up some other Command and Conquer games soon. It's kind of hard to um get games because the um servers really suck. There's like bad servers, and just like sometimes they disconnect or lag, and I don't want to upload some crappy game that I'm lagging. I'm gonna get the Yuri clone. So notice I got the, le the top, top of my base with a Gatlin bunker and the bottom of my base with that psychic tower. And no supers are off by the way. Not that you could notice yet, I don't think I have a lab yet. So I'm gonna get a fourth miner before I make a lab. Because I wanna have a strong economy, not pump out um, infantry units when he's um, making a bunch of pairs, driving a bunch of GIs and collecting more. I think he has more money than me right now. Kind of likely. I'm gonna do a two tank split. 
And I'm like, okay, this guy's gonna see it. He looked like he. I know if they see it by how they respond. If you take a tank split and then all the tanks move to like covered area where the tanks are going, I'm like he's gonna see it. Don't even bother with the split. Keep your army, your army bigger and more together. But then if you do a split and they like don't react to it, then you're like this. This split might work. I'm about to um take just two tanks and split. And it's, and it's the same thing with Soviet. Um, tank splits are more important with Soviet than any other army. That's how Soviet wins. Especially Soviet versus Soviet. Tank splits are like a huge, huge, huge big deal. And anyone that plays Red Alert 2 knows that, so I don't even have to tell them. Uh, and Yuri's Revenge could probably be a good Soviet without tank split in the Soviet. Maybe. But it's, I don't know. It's kind of harder. I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. I don't know. But yeah, tank splits with Soviet are definitely what makes it the Soviet player good. Now, um. One of the big things. Now, um. For allies, any army, but especially Soviet, more than anything. Now I got, I'm gonna get this grinder just in case. I get a couple mind control and then I can throw them in there right away. And I notice I got the, um, I got that one virus there to kill his GIs off. Ah, I lost the magnetron. What do you know? And a GCAT. So, GIs are helping him, but I'm holding my ground here. I gotta make sure these miners don't run away. Like stupid miners are really, really stupid. I call them runaway miners. Because sometimes they just run to the other base, especially on this map. Because, like, sometimes if you're in the middle of the map, the ore in the other middle of the map is closest. And, it just, and they just automatically go there when they run out of ore. I'm gonna try to um, pick off some ma some gr some Mirage with the mags. But it's kind of hard because um sometimes if you want to get just in range, like the... Um, ooh, I got lucky with that one mag right there. If you get just in range, the uh, Magnetrons... Go to the front of the thing of the um group, and then what happens is the um the magnetrons get shot by the mirage tanks at the prisms. So I mean it, it's kind of hard to um manually do it sometimes, but not too hard. I mean if you know what you're doing. I but when I'm playing versus good players, they know the weaknesses, and, and if they see magnetrons coming forward, you know they're gonna shoot this magnetrons right away. And same thing with masterminds. They see masterminds going forward, they're gonna shoot masterminds. And then when you, if Yuri has like a good, like, like a good amount of masterminds and then like you shoot the masterminds first, then like he's going to be mastermindless. If you just pop all the masterminds, you're going to over brainwave overload and then you're going to kill the Yuri. So you got to be careful with how you use units. Basically, keep them together. Now, I'm trying to attack, um, he's, he's, he's piling up GIs. I know I got coin vets. But I'm not making a whole bunch of infantry units. I'm just using it to get a couple viruses, a couple Yuri clones, and two Yuri primes. And I use it more if I have to. But and if it goes into a long game, it, it'll be more useful. But I'm not gonna like overdo it because super because genetic mutation is off because super weapons are off. And I could and I can't really do a Yuri prime sp split when I sneak one Yuri prime and. and Coming with the other Yuri Prime in my main unit because the map map's so small he's gonna see it, so I'm not even gonna bother with the with the Yuri Prime split. It's not worth trying. Actually I could try, I don't know. But anyway. Trying to mind control what I can. That battle fortress is just ripping everything up. It's it's really, really hard because pillboxes and and the battle fortresses just like anytime I go near him, just missiles just fly at me and stuff just my stuff all just blows up. I'm like, ooh, maybe, maybe I'm about to get some more stuff and come back later. And now he's like shooting me as I'm running. I'm like, oh my god. I would have lost that. If I would have stayed there and, and just fought him, I know I lost a couple units running. I would have definitely lost it, I think. I had to get the heck out of there. Hightail it out of there. And plus, well, anyway, and plus, like, he has a pillbox if I just sighted an attack. Um. I got that one Mirage tank, mind control it, I'm gonna keep it hidden. He won't even know it's there. I definitely wanna move the mind control. It's better to just keep it and not move it around so he sees it. See, and then I was trying to pick off one, and then, but my, uh, Mirage, my mag went too far, I'm like, duh. And now, look at that, Mirage tank is like basically doing a lot of damage. Actually got a couple, uh, got a good amount of stuff, and when he was shooting at that, I got another Mirage tank with my one Mastermind. So I noticed th th this is actually 
kind of hard because um, LA oil purifier will eventually probably uh, produce me, I think. But I see how much oil I can't see how much oil he has left. Well, I got I'm almost out of oil, but I, I got a little bit on the top, but that's a really small amount, really, really small. I gotta use the miners or tag just like you do with Soviet, you gotta do it with Yuri too. Now I wanna try to mind control him while he's like looking at his GIs. If I get this battle pushes, oh man, I got this battle pushes, he really screwed up. He was probably looking at his GI, so he wasn't. He really made a mistake right there. I got his Navy SEAL, that's funny. I got all his own army. Okay, he lo it looks like he just lost his game right there. I gotta finish him off though. If I could finish him off, I'll probably win this. Now I'm gonna bunker up over here. Now I don't want any. I don't want to mess with his elite battle forces. If I lose it, <laughs> if I lose that elite battle forces, man. That thing will rip me off and it'll be like a living nightmare. So I just want to grind a thing and just get the heck out of it. And I actually thought, I forgot I had a grinder, so I was going to make another one. And I was like, oh yeah, I have a grinder from before. I forgot. It's going to grind it. Now I'm going to like either leave one miner or bring all the miners in attack. That's what you do. You just... Oh, I'm actually you can bring them all. I don't know. I got $5,000, $6,000. Why not? And if I if I survive the attack, I could bring it back if we both for some reason you, neither one of us win. And my uh, and my base is covered versus Pedro, so I'm just basically not worried about my base. I'm just focused on attacking him now. And boom, boom. That really is a pain in the butt when um the miners slam on the uh, ore refineries. Now he's just selling off. Now the miner, the miner's got so much armor he can't really do much to stop him. He has a, a small amount of mirage, you can't see him though. That, that you see him in the air right now getting Magnetron. But he's got so much armor and not much you could do. So yeah, bringing in the miners is good. And they're also good versus um, prism tanks. They absorb a lot of prism shots too. But I know, know he has no prism tanks, but just saying. So all I gotta do is finish him off. And it's a good game. It's gonna blow everything up. I mind control everything. He, he doesn't have a chance anymore. So that was this man with no super, no super weapons. But one thing you gotta realize is, I didn't. I know that you're thinking like it benefits Yuri's with supers, but I didn't have to worry about um any chronosphere, chronosphere, and a uh, good chunk of stuff in my water. So it does benefit both teams. I think Yuri gets a little bit better over the, out of it because in the long game, the um the mutators better. But I don't have to worry about the corner screw or the, or the weather device still, so, you know. Anyway. I'm just trying practicing using my viruses. Just for fun. But that's the end of the game. Good game.